Act one and two, we might actually call- It's really quite a thrill. You're standing on side, waiting to be called on, just seeing everyone rushing between. And then you walk on to side stage, you're, you're nervous, adrenaline's going, but once you get on stage, it's everything kind of just disappears and you're there to perform and you do so. Being up on stage, it's you have to have a humbleness about you because it's it's a team effort. It's not um, you can't do a show by yourself. And being um, an individual player is just it doesn't make the experience what it needs to be, um, especially for the audience. So yeah, being a team player is a massive thing, and building relationships with the people around me as well has been something that I've been able to elaborate on and grow, which has been really good. I'd seen musicals before, it looked like an amazing opportunity to work with other people and get to know people, and it really has. It's been absolutely fabulous. And it's been one of the best things I've ever done in my life, and I'm even considering taking this into the future as a career. Getting to know everyone from the younger and older year levels, just building a family between these year levels, it's quite an experience. It's fantastic to see uh, people from, say, middle school or ballerine who uh, younger kids who don't have that much experience but are still um, giving this massive musical a go. Yeah, like a lot of younger students get really like nervous. They've never done anything like this before and I've been in that position. And knowing that there's help from like older students is really comforting. Well, they are really good role models. I'm the youngest in the cast, so yeah, they're just really supporting. It's a big learning experience for everyone, but it's really just a lot of fun. I'm proud of how we've all stuck together for such a long time and kind of put up with each other through all like the mistakes and all the wrong dance moves and everything and how we've all just helped each other to just make the performance the best. It's absolutely amazing seeing the orchestra and the acting and the singing and the choreography, every single thing that we've worked on, it's all coming together. It's, and it, it's, just, oh, it's just amazing to see it all come together. It's really emotional. You can get quite emotional actually. Having the whole experience is, yeah, really amazing. I'm really excited for the show. So my name is Ava McInnes and I play the role of Annie. And yes, yeah, so I auditioned uh, three months ago. And yeah, I've been working with the dog ever since. So yeah. Kind of talked to my parents about like what role I wanted to audition for. And I think Hannigan just jumped out because she's such an eccentric character and she's so much fun to play and so I thought being my first musical I'd just audition and give it a go and see how it went. Daddy Warbucks is, uh, he lives in New York in the 30s, uh, 1930s. He's a billionaire, no nonsense type person. Uh, so I had to work on the character and really make sure before I go on to stage, I have to make sure I think about who I'm about to be. I have to make sure I've got the accent right and the voice and all that sort of thing. And just the body language is very different to my own natural body language. It's almost like he's another part of me, sort of, uh, that Warbucks guy. Opening night always has its challenges, but it's fun to finally see the reaction of the audience, to finally see your, your work that's been, that you've been doing for months to be noticed. The rehearsals have been really intense, and whilst it's really difficult with some of the things we do and like making a lot of mistakes, it's really good once like, you start seeing the progress and once things are put up on stage, you watch the other performances, everything, you see the entire development of the play and it's just incredible. Through shows like this, I've gotten a lot more confident and I feel like being on stage, I can just look out into the audience and be whoever I want. I find it really fun and I think I've gotten a lot better at dancing through this show. The group of us that came in with two left feet, now performing the dance moves, <laughs> not just performing them, but performing them in time. Uh, that's been something I've really enjoyed watching. I feel really proud of the whole school for getting everything ready and putting it all together and it's turned out really well. I love about seeing, like, I just love it. Like, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It's just something that I love to do and just experiment. And yeah, I just love singing. Just love singing. <laughs> I find mostly the facial expressions, expressing myself that way. And the accent for each of the characters is mainly difficult. And just the teachers and the students helping to solidify the accents, the facial expressions, the dance moves, just all of that. 
They've given me lots of instructions and how to do things properly and ways of not wrecking my voice, if that makes sense. So, yeah, they've helped me in lots of different ways. So the orchestra brings so much to the performance and the energy on stage is just amazing. Well, I guess without the orchestra, Annie would have nothing to fall back onto and, you know, we support her in most of her singing. Miss Notini has an incredible musical mind. She knows how to read the energy on stage and how to get us to go with um, the actors and the whole cast and everything. And um, all the teachers are very experienced in um, the musical side of things. So yeah, I mean, it's been incredible being able to learn off them. The pit, you can't actually see who are on stage. So you're mainly relying on, um, you know, the speakers in front of you and around you so you can hear them. I guess it's cool being behind the scenes, knowing that you're feeding the energy to the cast and um, being part of the onstage production without actually being in view of all the people. We, we love Annie and we're all, um, <laughs> we're all singing along. It's a privilege to be a part of it, first off, but I guess it highlights how talented as a school we are and um, how blessed we are to have such an incredible group of students who can put on a show to this level. The team that's worked on the set have done an amazing job. The NYC set is phenomenal, I, I love it. And then the, the construction of the Warbucks Mansion the upper tier, that's, that's come together really well and I think it's really, the team has done a fantastic job. I think they did amazing at the costumes. They didn't leave um, any little details out. They would always call you back and I was really surprised because they're really good. This dress especially, it just shows off my personality and it's really comfortable. I have three costume changes in the whole show and I love wearing every single dress. Well, we had to make a few 16-year-olds look 50 or 30, so that's the main thing we had to do. And then a few unusual makeup, like the dummy or some of the other kids and then just help them out with their stage makeup that they have to wear. Warbucks is a bald character. So <laughs> I was gonna shave my head maybe, but um, we, we had a look at how I'd look, or, or just put a bald cap on or something like that. We had a look at how I look bald. Turns out it doesn't work with my facial shape, so we just went gray instead. I'm hoping that it's something that the audience enjoys a lot because I know that the sets and costumes and everything looks so great and there's so much talent to be enjoyed by the audience so I really want everyone that sees the show to have a good time. It makes me feel really proud to have this as my school because I think it's a great opportunity and they put on such a great show I really enjoy it. I'm probably looking forward to getting to see the audience's reaction to everything now because we've got everything else under control hopefully, hopefully everything goes well from now on. I can't wait for my parents to see it. I, we've been going home and we've been telling them all about it and you know practicing our pieces and they've heard it and because it's my first production they're going to be like oh this is really good. I hope they'll be thinking about how much we've actually put into the show because there has been a lot of rehearsals, the orchestra sounds amazing and yeah hope they think about yeah that. I don't think it's hit me yet that we're doing it because it's so amazing and the sets are brilliant and the costumes and without school I don't think I'd have the opportunity to do something like this so I'm really really grateful. It's just so good to actually be involved in a really good production. Yeah it sounds a lot like Broadway. I'm most excited about the closing night because once you get to the final songs you start crying and everyone gets emotional and it's just the best feeling because everyone's just made this big family over the past few months and seeing it all tie together for the end, it's just an amazing feeling. <laughs>